Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Hirsch. I'm the founder and CEO of Ice Light Systems. And I'm here today to introduce you to your new Ice Light System. It's a system that is a more efficient way of doing dentistry. One that makes it easier, more productive, and better for your entire dental team. You know, by converging the powers of light and suction, retraction, the ice light dry field illuminator delivers unprecedented visibility and access to the working field. It's safe and it's incredibly comfortable for the patient. In short, it's a leap forward in dental isolation. In this video, we're going to cover all that you need to know to get started using your new ice light or isodry system. And you know what? As with any new technology that we use, it just takes a little practice getting used to it. But the great thing about using the ice light is that it's fun and a big time saver for the entire team. Once you gain the confidence and the skill in the use of your ice light, you'll quickly realize that procedures go 20 to 30% faster. Imagine that. You no longer have to fight the saliva or the tongue or that ever-loving clock. Let's jump in and get started. My dental assistant, Denise, will take you through the installation process. Denise, if you would please. Hi, I'm Denise. For most dental practices with standard modern equipment, installing the Isolite Dry Field Illuminator, or IsoDry, is going to be a snap. I found I could do it myself, and I didn't have to call in our equipment technician. At any rate, you're going to want to allow about a half an hour for each system that you install, but most people tell me it really only takes about 15 or 20 minutes. We'll break the installation down to three easy steps. Step 1. Vacuum Connection. That's easy. If you have the Isolite, Step 2 is powering up. That's even easier. The last step? Racket. That's the easiest step of all. Step 1. Vacuum Connection. Easy. Follow your existing suction from your saliva ejector, or HVE, back to the vacuum canister in your operatory. Locate the second HVE port on your unit. Place a towel on the floor directly beneath the port. We're going to be uncapping this and you will usually have some fluid and debris coming out, so you want to make sure that this doesn't leave a mess on the operatory floor. Sometimes it may appear as if there is a hard plug or shell or some kind of hard material blocking the port. You're going to have to break through this. Remove the vacuum hose from the packaging. Then, remove the short vac canister hose from the Isolite power vacuum hose. You'll see that this is a short, trimmable piece of tubing that will connect your Isolite or Isodry system to your vac canister. We want to make a good connection to the vacuum canister. To do this, fill a cup up with really hot water. Heat it up in the microwave if you need to. Then. Place the vac canister hose, that's the short one, in the cup for two to five minutes. Make sure that the hose is pliable. Once the vac canister hose is pliable, work the hose onto the port like this. It should be a snug, firm fit. Now, attach the power vacuum hose to the vac canister hose. That's it for step one. Now you have to admit that making the vacuum connection was easy. So let's move on to the next step. If you purchased the Isolite dry-filled illuminator, you will need to power it up so that the five levels of internal illumination get the energy it needs. If you are installing the Isodry that does not have the internal lighting, you will skip this step. Powering up your Isolite dry-filled illuminator is easier than making the vacuum connection. Just plug the adapter into the Isolite power jack. Then, plug the power cord into a standard electrical outlet. A green indicator light will light up once every 10 seconds to further indicate that the unit is powered up. Make sure that you only use the Isolite adapter, as all other adapters will permanently damage your Isolite, and that'll void your warranty. We don't want to do that. Okay, that was definitely easy. The last step for your new Isolite or Isodry? Rack it! The easiest. Racking your Isolite or Isodry is the easiest step of all. 
You'll want to position your new system within easy reach on the assistance toolbar. Isolite will fit into most high or low volume slots. That's it, you did it. Hey, thanks Denise. You made that look really easy. You know what everybody, 95% of the time, your installation is going to go just like the method Denise just showed you. It'll be no sweat. But you want to know something? Not all vacuum canisters are created equal. Every now and then you'll get in a unique situation where you have to use a Y adapter. But this is just not a problem. Give our customer service reps a call and they'll walk you right through it so that you can get up and running in no time at all. Okay, now that you've seen just how easy it is to set up the Isolite system, we are ready to rock and roll. So Denise, Let's show them how to light it up and feel the power.